Hello everyone and welcome to the USS Nimitz. This is a full-blown cargo ship. As you can see over there, I have a cargo of 30,000. Plenty of space. This is for you outposters. Uh, those who like to do outposting and, and things of that nature. Carry all the stuff you need with this bad boy and it's well defended so um, no worries about any enemies that want to get in your way. Um, this is kind of an updated video from my previous cargo ship bill which was the Star Fox here. Uh, it's a little bit chunkier and bulky um, but it did the job nothing wrong with this ship here so if you saw this one and you like this one go ahead and build it nothing wrong with it perfectly fine um, just a little bit taller as you can see um, and it weighs actually less than the one that I just built which I'm calling the USS Nimitz so um, probably because I got a few more holes or things in here but it has the same number of storage containers and everything um, just probably uh, a few more pieces uh, like habs and whatnot I believe I added more habs so this is what it looks like so you're interested in a sleeker uh, powerful cargo ship uh, with 30k this is this is your ship so let's take a look hello everyone and welcome to the USS Nimitz cargo ship bill um, this will give you, depending on your perks, I have a payload skill maxed out as well as a payload specialist on board and it will give me about 30k. So as you can see right now it says 20k uh, with the perks and skill. It will take you up to 30k uh, as you saw on the screen. So let's go ahead and get into the bill. You will need to visit two specialty vendors. Um, you will need to visit Stroud Eklund. And you will need to get the Contiki B500 bridge, a variant of that. Don't get the small one. Uh, make sure you get one of the big ones. Um, just because of the way it looks, uh, the bigger ones look better. So um, the other thing you will need to pick up is at the Hope Tech vendor. And you can get the Sal 6330 engines. And you're going to get four of these. One, two, three, four. And then, oh, sorry, five. There's another one. Six. There's six of those. Holy smokes, I got six of those. So two, four, six. So six of those Sal 630, 6330 engines, six of those. And then while you're at the Hope Tech vendor, pick up two of these Hope 55 landing gear as well. And as usual, all the Habs are dealer's choice whatever you want to put if you see something here and you don't like it you can swap out with what you like to have there as far as a hab totally up to you so let's go ahead and get into the build all right first off we are going to start with the base level here and we're going to need a bunch of aculanders so aculander 11 landing gear you're going to need down the one side so one two three four five and in front of that you're going to have a nova cowling plopped onto the front and again lights are on the outside of all the landing gear and then you're going to square that on the opposite side so five one two three four five again lights on the outside and get you another nova cowling and flip that bad boy around so it looks as such all right next layer in let's start from the back get you a uh, demos belly and you will need again this is just repeat on on both sides so you'll get you one of those Attach here Aculander mid because it has attachment points on both left and right so there's no lights on it. And then attach your Deimos belly aft. And you're going to skip a space. And then in front of that you're going to have a Galleon S205 cargo hold. And in front of that another Deimos belly. The cargo hold is rounded towards the outside 
just for note. Alright, the next layer in, you're going to grab you another Acculander. And again, this is a mid. So it's not port or starboard. So hit the variation so you have the two snap points on both sides. And then at the back end here, you're going to have a Tayo cowling. It's got some nice lights on the back. And then you're going to put a Galleon S204 cargo. And then in front of that, you're going to have a Nova braking engine. And then repeat process on this side, Nova braking engine, Galleon S204, another Acculander, and copy that Tayo cowling over. All right, and then the middle section here, two more Acculanders mid, connectors on both sides, followed by another one. In front of that, you'll have a companionway of your choice one by one, followed by another Acculander mid again connecting on the left and right to connect those two cargoes and the companionway and then in front of that Acculander you are going to have a hope for landing bay and that is the very bottom of the ship right there next you will want to grab you two more one by one companionways storeroom whatever you have it and stack those on the back of the landing bay as such bingo bingo and then go ahead and grab you your Acculander I'm sorry your assurance SG1800 shield and plop that down right here on the front of the landing bay as such all right that gives you pretty much the main bottom floor with a few exceptions to that. So next what we want to do is we'll want to grab Nova Cowlings and you're going to grab one here and you're going to snap it here and then flip it. And once you flip it, grab you a Deimos hole and attach that to the top front point here as, so, as shown. So that way you'll have that connecting spot. Okay, once you do that, go ahead and get you another one to connect here, which will connect it to the Deimos hole. And you're gonna do the flip, 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 flip. release and then you're gonna duplicate down accept and then delete that one here and that'll get those to overlap nice and cover up that shield and you can take your little buddy and move them out of the way for now next grab your Nola cow cowling 2L and that's gonna go right on top here like that. Bingo. Next, go ahead and grab your combo of your J52 Gamma Drive and your sheared SF40 flow reactor. Grab those two and they are gonna go right behind the companionway there and plop that in there. Next, you'll have a 3x1 of your choice. Followed on top by a 2x1 of your choice. I have an armory with portholes on both the back quadrant and a Deimos hole to fill out the complete 3x3. Next, you will place down one of the 6830 engines on the bottom floor and then you will duplicate that up to cover up the top like that select all of that and 
and bring that forward as such. Next, we have more duplicate Nova cowlings, and we'll go ahead and grab one of those here, and that will go there, and we'll do flip, flip, release, and grab the other one, flip, flip, release. And repeat the process. Flip, flip, release. Flip, flip, release. And that will give us the back end of that. Next, you can grab the Hope 55 landing gear. Snap that in here. And then you're going to flip, flip, release. And repeat on the opposite side as such. Flip, flip, release. Next, grab you some Galleon S202 cargo holes. You're going to need one, two, three, four, followed by a Stroud Cap B with the rounded side out, and attach as shown here the top of your Sal 6330 engine. And then on the inside of that, you are going to have as such an S204 cargo hole attached there, followed by one more, followed by a Deimos hole, followed by another Stroud Cat B flipped around so that it's like that. On top, you will have a Demo Spine A in front of a Demo Spine C4. So make sure you flip it as shown here. And in front of that, you will have another Demo Spine 4. Flipped around as such. And then in the front, another Demo Spine A. And you will repeat the process on the other side and we will select all of that and we will bring that over to our ship here and that will go right on the outside level as shown here and we will plop that down all right we have a Stroud mid bracer and another Stroud mid bracer and we will grab those and those go right in front of the landing gear spot there connecting to the Deimos holes and then we have Tau cowling and we'll orientate those this way and we will move those over here. They will not go in as, as shown, so I'm just bringing them over here closer. What you will need to do is bring it over. Flip, flip, release. And repeat on the other side. Flip, flip, release. All right, next, grab you a Stroud engine bracer and place that up above the Deimos belly in front of the cargo hole. Grab your Deimos belly and bring that off. Duplicate you one of those cowlings. Flip, flip. Ugh, I always forget. Duplicate. Release it and then re-grab it. Flip, flip release Deimos hole there to hold and then you want to do that flip there bring Deimos hole over there duplicate that up and select bring your Deimos hole back out of the way and delete Bring your belly four under 
and voila just like that underneath and just repeat the process on that side next let's go ahead and grab a Stroud cap C aft followed by a two by one of your choice and your Tiki bridge which does not connect there so grab your Tiki bridge bring that over and that's gonna go right on top of those one by ones and then go ahead and grab you your Stroud cap aft and your two by one of choice and that's gonna go on the back just like that for that top level all right next we will grab a Stroud braking engine followed by a three by one of your choice or a two by one and a one in one companion way just as long as it's three by one I grabbed uh, an all-in-one berth on both sides on top of that you're going to put down a Nova cowling and the middle should be left open followed by another Nova cowling flip the opposite way on the back end and you're going to repeat that process on the opposite side and those are going to go as right here on the side here and we will stick it there we go like such and duplicate down duplicate down delete delete duplicate down and duplicate down delete so that is flush like that it's just for aesthetics we don't need that much fuel but hey they look kind of cool always trying to save some time so you will bring that there and you would flip 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 release cancel and grab this one reposition the camera here bring it there flip 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 release there we go select our ship all is well release and underneath we have on the one by one companion we have a slim docker underneath and delete that demos hole and the nova cowlings if you don't have those those go right there otherwise that is it. That That's is the build. I hope you enjoyed, and uh, let's see if we can find a little footage for you. All right, let's head inside the Nimitz and take a look. So we come inside. Here's a companion way at the bottom of the ship here. I was hoping you'd stop by. Here's some of the crew hanging out. Andreja. And here's the three by one engineering bay here. And uh, up ladder. Another three by one. We hope you're having a good day. All in one burst. So really love those right pieces. And our docker is down there. And we'll 
go up the left here one level this is just our armory over here a couple of portholes and then from the armory this will lead up to the captain's quarters I believe it's kind of a dead-end bottleneck but I don't want nobody coming up to the captain's quarters right right so here's the captain's quarters got my espresso machine over there dirty ass toilet <laughs> but it's all mine damn it all right we'll head back down Here's uh, Hassan and the, some of the crew hanging out. Here's our landing bay. We come up. Landing bay. And from the landing bay, we come in. Companion way. And we are up to the bridge. And there you have it nice big bridge that's why I said pick the big one don't pick the small one get the big puppy it just gives you so much more to view but that's the layout of the ship pretty cool I uh, hope you enjoyed the walkthrough through the USS Nimitz